Hello and welcome. We have some more winter gloves in the studio with us today, this time from the company Takano Urbano. These are the diamond winter glove. They even have winter in the name. And that's specifically what these are designed for quite clearly from the outset. I think more designed as a commuter glove that ties in with the brand anyway. You'll quite commonly find their kinds of stuff in and around commuting. I wouldn't necessarily choose these as my touring glove or longer distance riding, but if I'm riding through town, I'd be more than happy to go with these. They come in at £76.99, which is a nice comfortable kind of price for these. Not too expensive at all. It's probably what I would expect from this kind of glove with the features that it has. And speaking of features, it actually has quite a lot of technical features, again, that you'd probably expect to find with this kind of glove, but hidden quite neatly in them because they aren't too conspicuous. They're quite a nice, clean and elegant design. And of course, they are CE approved. Let me try them on though whilst I explain those features to you. Let's start with the materials you've got here. So from the outside, these are made of goat skin leather and goat skin leather is favored quite a lot with gloves in particular because it is so hard wearing, fantastically abrasion resistant, also somewhat water resistant as well, which is obviously a useful feature in gloves. There isn't any armor in your palm, so to speak. No padding for me to pick up on, but at least you've got these extra sections around the heel of your hand. You've got this diamond or quilted pattern on there as well. That will help with the abrasion resistance, obviously. Fastened via Velcro around your wrist, really easy to use, but pretty basic. You have something on your thumb and your index finger for the use of a smartphone or touchscreen. You'll notice this diamond stitching around the back of your hand as well, which is a nice aesthetic feature. It just makes them stand out a little bit. Also down your index finger and your middle finger, as well as this stretch accordion leather around the tops of your knuckles as well, really just there for aesthetics. Although it does allow a certain amount of extra flexibility on those fingers. And then on your ring finger and pinky, you've got a little bit of soft padding around the back of your finger, different at least to the other. So you've got some contrast going on there. And then you've got concealed CPS armor on the backs of your knuckles, which is a little bit softer, so more comfortable, more flexible, but it allows at least a little bit of extra reinforcement on the back of your hand. And then you've got a metal version of their logo at the bottom there. These are a kind of medium cuff, really. Not particularly long, but obviously not a short cuff. So designed to go over the top of your sleeves when you're riding. On the inside, to keep you warm, and we'll talk a little bit more about fit now, actually, they are a thicker glove. It depends on you. If you're riding in colder temperatures, you need your gloves to be thick. It's just the compromise you're gonna to have to make. So these are thick. They're not the thickest I've ever felt. You've still got some dexterity and feel there but they're thicker than a few of the ones I've tried more recently from the likes of Revit, for example. You can definitely feel that it is more padded, slightly more padded. You've got microfiber lining on the inside for your warmth, for your insulation. And then for waterproofing on the inside of this, you have the Hydra Scud waterproof and breathable membrane. In case you're wondering, I believe that was developed and popularized for the scooter leg coverings that you will have definitely seen in and around cities. You know, the ones that look like blankets, Covering your legs well, if it's good enough to keep your legs dry, it's definitely good enough to keep your hands dry as well. And it will ultimately add to the warmth and insulation in these as well. So a pretty simple pair of gloves with enough features to keep you comfortable while you're on the bike. As I say, they are slightly on the thicker side, so it's up to you whether that is a problem or not. But if it does start to get cold, you need them to be thicker, obviously. When it comes to the sizing, we have an updated size guide on our website, which will tell me that for my size nine hand, it's the extra large that I have on here that is my size. And I can bear that out because I've tried on the large and it was slightly too snug for me. Definitely going for this size on there. But if you're at all unsure, obviously, as I say, check that size guide if you want to buy these for yourself. We will have links in the description if you want to check them out, follow that, leave your questions and comments where you do normally, and for more of the world's finest riding gear, stay tuned, as always, to Urban Rider. Thank you.